Today, I made this pot of delicious banga soup, the Delta banga soup, and I've decided to show you guys how I make my banga soup. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Philippian. If you're new here, you're welcome. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. So I started by washing the brown fruits thoroughly to remove the dirt. So I washed very well because sometimes when you get this um, palm fruit from the market, it's always very dirty. So I washed it very well to remove the dirt and I started cooking or boiling the palm fruit. I'll be using beef for the soup so I washed the beef properly seasoned and started cooking the beef and for this um, recipe you don't need to cook the meat very well you just need little water very little water to cook the meat so preferably you can also not you can decide not to add water to the meat when you want to perboil the meat now I'm cleaning my crayfish ah. Me, I don't know what this thing is called in English, show, but me, I know sure. I'm removing the crayfish, separating it from the shell and sand before blending it. Please, if you know what it's called, what I, I was doing, what it what is called in English, please leave it on the comment section. So now I'm blending my crayfish because I'll be needing it for the soup. My meat is ready, though it's not well cooked, but this is how I want it for the soup. Now the palm fruit is ready and I need to drain the water first before pounding or matching the palm fruit. For the pounding process, I'll be using cup because I don't have a um, mortar or pesto. So if you don't have mortar or pesto like me, you can actually use your cup, maybe mug cup or a bottle. I use any of them and it works perfectly for me. Some people can also use their hand to mash it, but it's hot, so I cannot use my hands. I use the bottle first or the cup to mash or to pound first before mixing with my hand or before I continue with my hand. I added water to extract the juice from the palm fruit. You can also use warm water if your palm fruit is already cold. You can use warm water to extract the juice. But I am using the water from the tap because mine is still hot. So I'm using the tap water. I don't know if it's the juice but we are extracting the water, the banga. <laughs> from the farm fruits i don't know but that's what we are doing we are extracting the juice because that was, that's what we'll be needing for the soup here is the juice i extracted from the palm fruit i'm going to be using osumada or osumada i don't know the english name if you know the english name put it on the comment section the soup is boiling now so i'm going to add my washed stock fish and cover it and allow it to keep boiling for a while Now I'm adding the meat and the meat stock. I gave it a good stir and covered for it to continue boiling. After some time, I added my locust beans, my smoked fish, my crayfish, and my blended banga spices and covered it for it to continue boiling till it gets thicker. Now the soup is thicker and I'm adding in more crayfish, stock cube and I'm going to cover it for it to continue boiling till it gets thicker because the thicker the better. So guys, the banga soup is ready and I hope you guys are going to try out this method. And please, when you are trying yours, you can actually make yours to be thicker than mine. I don't really like um, very thick soup. I prefer it this way. You can make yours thicker. 
and if you're still watching thank you so much for watching this video to the end till the end please like subscribe share and let me know what you think about this video on the comment section bye and see you in my next video